lagging indicators give lagging signals, giving you a late entry into the market, leaving you chasing the market, taking unnecessary risk. Prediction points give accurate entries to the tick. Stay tuned and I'll show you how we use that to minimize our risk and maximize our profit. So I'm going to walk through this one at a time here. I'm going to talk about if you were only a seller today and if you were only a buyer today. And then you can piece those together. So if you just pick the side and you said, all I'm going to do today is I'm going to sell or all I'm going to do today is I'm going to buy. And then we're just going to walk through that a little bit here. So let's start off with the buy, with the sell side. So right here we have this, the market comes up here. First opportunity to get short right here, 79.50. The market came down here, came back up. Next short would be right here. From This would be the next price down, so there's your next short opportunity. Then the market came down here. Didn't really get a good clean break of this, but we did come back up right here within a tick. Yeah, within a tick right here. So there's another short opportunity right there. So there's a short, there's a short, there's a short. Then it came down here, then right here. There's another short opportunity right here. And then I don't know where you were shorting for if you weren't taking at least some profit in front of here because this is from 79.50 to 71. That's eight and a half points. So somewhere in here there's profit taking opportunities. That's an eight and a half point trade that's up right there. Now the market comes back up here. You really wouldn't want to be shorting this again because we pretty much already used that. So this is not really a short, but let's just say it came up here and you shorted it. Look how long this thing, you had five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 25 minutes, 30 minutes before it really started to push anywhere. And even then, if you were short at 76 quarter, push anywhere was five ticks. This was five ticks off of this price. So you had 25 minutes that you could have taken this trade off at break even that it wasn't working. Look how quick the winners work. This worked immediately. This works immediately. This works immediately. This works immediately. This takes 25 minutes. Then let's say you're short again up here. Well, now look what happens. You've got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 minutes before this really goes anywhere. 20 minutes before it goes anywhere at least. So now you're short from here. Can you get the trade off close to break even after 20 minutes? If you're short here and it's just not working, you've got close to 20, 25 minutes that this is either you're a little in the green or a little in the red. Can you get it off somewhere around break even in 20 minutes? And then if you're short up here, this is 79 half. The probe up here is 80 three quarters, that's only five ticks. If we pull this in here a little bit, you can see this area right here. This is something we'd be paying attention to right here. So this 80 quarter area. So if you're short here, then the opportunity, it did probe up above here. So if you worked to get that trade off at break even, you took this one off at break even. And then, or you held it. Either way, doesn't really matter. And then it came down here and then here's another opportunity to get short again right here. So this is 79 quarter, 79 half. There's an opportunity to get short. It came down. No real, it didn't really get close enough here. Maybe you could have gotten filled to the tick if you were trading the tick in front of that, but not a lot to do there. Then there's a short opportunity here from 74 quarter. And then that came down here. There's no trade here. We never got below this yet. So no trade here. So here we go. First opportunity to get a trade right here short. And this moves from here and it goes from 71 all the way down to the low right there, 68 quarter. So if you were a seller here at 71, it moved all the way down to 68 quarter. That's two and three quarter points and then came back up. And when it came back up here, that's an opportunity to just take the trade off and get flat. So that trade didn't work. So next price, we'd really want to sell it. See how it already used this right here? Next price we'd really want to use would be up here. So the market comes down here, holds here again. 
This is an important price. We said that. It's a CPA for a reason. And then we ended up probing. We probed below this back down here to this price. So if you were short from here and then basically you would have been flat through all of this. Flat through here. No opportunity, at least on this chart where we broke and came back and had an opportunity. This happened real quick. I saw this in real time. And then this here we go. This is not really a short opportunity because already used over here. There's your real next opportunity, 76 quarter. The high there is 76. And that goes from 76 down here, 71. Never bounced high enough here to get short. And then came down here. This held. So if you were real aggressive, you could have tried it short here. It probed up above this by a point and a half or something. Came right back to it, to the tick. When this probes up here, can you get this trade off around break even? Maybe you lose a few ticks, something like that. And then the most aggressive trade you could take would be right here at 33.74 quarter. Now, sometimes when the market moves really quick, I'm going to move this into a one minute chart because I really want you to. I want to break this down with you. So sometimes when the market moves real quick, and we know that towards the close of the day, the market can definitely start to run a bit. So this, if you, when this came back up here, see how it came up here, came down. Even if you were short from right here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine minutes, touch that price three times in nine minutes that you could have worked that trade to get out of that at break even or close to break even. And then when we came up here, here's your fill. Let's say you get filled right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This trade is not working. It's eight minutes and we're not getting back below this price. You can dump the thing, you can take it, you may you may lose a point on it, whatever. Just not worth hanging on to it. Okay, so I just wanted to break that down into a little bit slower time frame so you could see more how that reacted there. Now remember it already used this so there's no short opportunity right here okay at, up at 76 quarter. So even if we're an aggressive seller the next price we can really sell would be these two right here and then obviously it came up to 81. So let's break this down again into a one minute chart and see how it reacts here. So we said these this one this one would be invalid this time and the next one would be here and then here. So look what happens. It comes up, touches this to the tick, comes back down here to the tick, comes back up here, 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 here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six minutes here that this is trading right around our entry price. So if you couldn't get flat in six minutes and realize this thing isn't working, then it, you know, I mean, there's just, there's, here's the opportunity. This trade's not working. It's been six minutes. So you're short again up here. Here it comes up here. One, there's the touch. So it's, so you get filled here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven minutes right here. Okay. Then it moves away a little bit from it and not even a lot. It doesn't even move away a lot from it and comes right back to it. So if you're short here, and then it comes right back to it, sits on this price for three minutes, two, a tick away for another two more minutes, comes back up here, hangs out here, and then, you know, we're going to slowly kind of pushing up here, but the, the day is going to end, the trading is going to close for the weekend. So that's how you could handle that. If all you did was say, all I'm going to do today is sell, and there were opportunities way beyond just being a seller. Now let's look at the other side and I'll run you through that real quick here. So now let's look at if you were only a buyer. So you're only a buyer. So what do you do? Well, price comes down here at the open. First opportunity to buy right there. Bam. Now you're long. Price comes all the way up. Now when price comes back here, do you want it again here? No, you don't want it again here. So you're in this trade. It's gone three or four points in your favor. If it comes back, you dump it, you scratch it a break even comes back here. This is your next buy opportunity. So it comes right back here. You're long. Moves up to that price. Comes back. You're out. You scratch that trade at break even. Okay. Comes down here. Here's your long opportunity. You're in here. You're long. Comes up. 
comes back down here. We're literally talking about being a robot and buying every single price, having no discretion, using no trading ability really to determine should I be buying or not buying. You buy here, that's from 71. You can take profit when it comes up here. It pulls back down here to 74 quarter. You're long when it trades up here. There's really no opportunity to get long here. It didn't really come back here. So when it came back here, maybe you're long. Here, maybe you're long. There's not really a lot to do right here. I mean, if you're long from down here, you can scale out and try to scale back in. This here and here, I don't know. You could have gotten filled. You could have gotten long here. But you wouldn't have gotten long at this price because it didn't come back here yet. So maybe here, and this one would have been one that you probably would have scratched. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 minutes later, it's still not working. So you're probably going to scratch that one. Now when it came back down here, let's say you bought it here because you didn't get the chance to buy it here before. So it comes down 5, 10, you've got over 10 minutes of this sitting here at this price. Doesn't look like they're going to rip it higher from there, does it? So just not a lot happening. You can scratch that trade to break even. We didn't break out above here. You can scratch this one. All right. If you missed it and the market ended up coming up here and you took that trade off and then it came down here like this, you could always get in again here when it comes back down there. If you scratched it and maybe you shouldn't have scratched it, maybe you should have kept it. You could always hit it again right there. Okay. So there's no trade here. You already bought this price. We're not going to buy these multiple times. You already bought it here. There's really no trade here because we already bought it here. And so the next trade would be down here. You're long and this is a scratch trade. There's not really a lot to do here. And it hangs around here for a bit. It finally can't really break out up here. So there's really no buy here because it can't really never really breaks out here for a real buy opportunity. Comes down. This is really not doing much of anything. If you were advanced, you could have gotten long down here. If you're new and you're just working in order a couple ticks in front of this, you would have missed that by a tick. So there's that one. It comes back up here. So where can I buy? Well, now it pulls back down you could buy here. So here's a buy. So 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes not working. Scratch it at break even. Buy it down here. From the 69 comes up to here. You can buy it again at 71. And then it moves up here. And you saw how we broke all of that down. So there were opportunities. If you were going to buy this, there were opportunities to buy it and move. So if all you did was if you developed a bias and you said, I'm going to just buy or I'm going to just sell and you got really good at getting in a trade and if it's not working, scratching it and trying it again at another price or getting in the trade and if it's working, getting out as it's moving in your favor and adding to it as it's moving back. And so if that's all you did, I mean, there's just a, a lot of profit to be made in there. Now, if you're a competent trader, Here's the open. We're shorting the open down to 71. That's what we said, 71 to 69 area. Great. Now I'm long from 69 and or 71, and I'm short again up in this area. And then I'm short here, and we come all the way down here. I try it long here. That's a scratch trade. It doesn't work. So maybe I'm able to get short somewhere up in here. I know there's not a price here, but if maybe I get short somewhere up in here, maybe I don't get short. Maybe this moves down here. I get long. Maybe I miss the long down here, but it comes back. I try it long here, scratch that. It doesn't work. Maybe I try it short up here. That comes back here. I end up getting long down here and this one ends up, or I miss the trade here and I end up getting long here and this one ends up working out for 10 points. How many 10 point trades do you need to get if you, you know, every day to be just in the top, 1% of traders in the world. And I'll tell you what, it's less than 10 points a day. It's a lot less than 10 points a day. So here's a short from 70, we'll call it 79 down to 71. There's eight points. There's a long from 71 up to 79. There's another eight points. That's 16 points. We're short here. Maybe we try some here. We scratch them. We're short again, whatever, right? So it just depends on your trading style, how aggressive you are. Do you want to trade more? Are you going to buy and, and hold it longer? Are you going to sell it and hold it longer? 
you try it down here, it doesn't really work, you scratch it, eventually end up getting long here, get 10 points on that, maybe you get 5 points shorting it up here. Pretty soon you're having 20, 30, 40, 50 point days, and this is a pretty slow day. So if you can just manage your trades, if you can really get good at managing your trade, we've got all the prices here that the market's going to interact with. If you get good at managing your trade then and minimizing your risk, so what if you scratch one that ends up working out? Big deal, hit at the next price, and you know it's just not that big of a deal. So you get better with that over time, but I wanted to break that down so you can see how to actually trade different prices and how to manage the trade when you're in those. So there you have it for today. That's a much more in-depth review. Again, you can go watch today's pre-market video where we walked through and described all of what could happen here that actually eventually did happen. And you can go check that out here in the top link. And we will see you all in the trade room next week.